Zulu Tango Foxtrot. This is Captain OG. Do you read me? Over. Roger, Captain OG. I got you loud and clear, sir. You get my airdrop from yesterday, okay? Over. Negative, ZTF. I was in some heavy force at the time, and I couldn't see where it came down, but I'll keep my eyes peeled for it. Over. Well, hell's bells, Captain. I hope you find that dropper. Alpha 9's going to whip up a big Alpha Charlie for you, sir. Over. Copy that. Say, ZTF, I need to report a strange phenomenon that occurred between 2200 hours and ended sometime during no dark 30. Over. Yeah, what was it, Captain? Over. Well, it's like all hell broke loose. The moon turned to blood, the sky was thundering as if old Thor had the farts, and a big horde of rotwalkers attacked my station. Never seen anything like it. If I hadn't made some makeshift boomers and a few Lebanese 7-ups, I'd been tango uniform. Hmm, I agree, Captain. That is strange. I'll report this to Alpha 6. Maybe one of them desk jockeys can make sense of it. In the meanwhile, though, you might want to unass yourself from that location, over. Not sure if that would have made much difference, ZTF. It seemed like the entire region was enshrouded in that red shit. One thing's for sure, I'm going to have to be better prepared if hell comes knocking again, over. Top of that, Captain, over. One more thing, ZTF. Let the CEO know that I've made contact with one of the traders and have been assisting him with some jobs. He's a mean old son of a bitch, but he pays well and his stock is decent. I'm finally acquiring some decent tools, and I'll hike back to RS Charlie and get it prepped for COP. I'm sure Alpha 6 will be pleased to hear it, Captain. I'll have your next drop to you the day after tomorrow around 1200 hours. Over. Tango Mike ZTF. Over and out. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm an old guy gaming. Um, so in this episode, we need to get ourselves a couple more things before we really can start, uh, you know, building and fixing up the ranger stations. Uh, we need the workbench, and we need a wrench wrench. And unfortunately, I am one mechanical part short of making that wrench. And so what we're going to do is go back out and do another job for wrecked and see if we can find that elusive uh, mechanical part. And once we can get it and make the wrench, then the mechanical parts will be easy to get because we can just start, you know, taking cars and things like that apart. Um, so I think I have everything we need uh, for going out and about. Let's put our, our lucky looters on. We'll sell this to uh, Trader Wrecked after we get our first job done. And uh, yeah, if you didn't see yesterday's episode, that was a pretty intense horde night. It kind of took me by surprise because I just hadn't considered the fact that because we're on 300% XP, the horde was, <laughs> it was a lot worse than, you know, just a normal seven day horde. I mean, we survived it, of course, but uh, it was touch and go there for a little bit. And uh, had I not had... My explosives, my pipe bombs, and my molotovs, it might have gone a little bit differently. So, yeah, we're going to have to take that into account for sure, you know, during the next horde night. Uh, so, anyway, let's go ahead and head over here and get this job knocked out and see if we can find that final mechanical part. Um, because I do definitely want to get going on, you know, fixing up the stations and then starting to move across the map. Because it's not my intention to stay in this area for you know m many more episodes all right what do we got going on over here all right we got some some uh, garden stuff we could we could pick uh, let's go around the front here all right guys i'm back i had to go afk for actually several hours <laughs> my wife and i are uh, doing a, a weekend yard sale and so i've been sitting out in the hot sun for several hours and paused the game and now we're back and uh i've got my ac running in the background so if you guys hear a little bit of background noise that's what it is but i'm like just i need to cool off i'm like really hot so anyway uh let's go ahead and get this party started here so this is a clear and retrieve there we go yeah and we made about uh we made about 500 bucks today too in the yard sale so that's not too bad um, all right, unlock cost stucky resident. Hey, doesn't this floor collapse right here? I think it does. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. But you know what? We'll go down there anyway. All right, we got one 
one sleepy. Yeah, I've done this um, POI many times in the past. I don't know if it's uh, changed much from what it was before. And I think there's a dog down here too, if I remember right. If it's still the same as it used to be. Let's get this ready to go in case we do run into a dog. All right, we'll get this off the floor. Nobody yet, huh? All right, let's loot this. We need one mechanical part. Um, that... Hey, look at that. That constitutes a jacket, so we will wear that until we find something better. Uh, now we can put another... Um, whose number was it? Pocket thing I'm doodle on there. Give it, get ourselves another space. That would be nice. All right, I don't know what's going to jump us in this room. There's a red dot over there, but that could be up above or down. Yeah, there is a, there's a Zomba right there. I think it's another Arlene, in fact. And then we've got Steve there, and then something else off to the right. Let's see if we can kill Steve first. Not waking anybody else up. Okay. I don't know if we can shoot through this or not. Look at that. Okay. Good stuff. We'll take it. And then the other Zeke is just on the other side, I think. Oh, right there. Edgar. Die. Cornmeal action. Something in here. Here's our iron arrow. Oh, look at that. We got a shoddy messiah crate. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Shotgun crafting and I think, don't we already? No, we don't actually have that. Nice. Okay. We will put this on our shovel. Nice little upgrade. Construction box. Come on, mechanical parts. Those are not mechanical parts. Savage country. Okay, bow crafting and this book, exploding crossbow bolts, flaming arrows, we already know. There's another box up here. And it looks like that's all that's up there. Okay, satchel's upstairs, so let's head on upstairs. Keep this ready to go in case something really bad happens. Okay, that door's locked. Check this. Satchel's somewhere right over there. It's inside the uh, the cabinet there. Okay, she did. That's done. Check cabinets. Another cooking magazine. I'm not sure what the next level of that is, but we're probably getting pretty close to it. Little potato there. Let's eat those right now. Another one. Trash bin. Okay, 
before we go in here, don't need the glass. I don't think we're going to keep the clay soil easy enough to come by later. We're just going to scrap these because easy to make in the forge later. And um, we don't need to repair any of our pipe weapons, so let's scrap the pipes too. Okay. Get zombos in here. Say goodnight, Gracie. Steve, you weren't supposed to wake up. You cheated. It's against the rules. There's a little hiding spot right there. Okay, I guess that's it for in here. That's a trippy picture. As soon as we get a wrench, we can start taking apart radiators. Oh, that's the other side where we just were. Up we go. We're four things encumbered. Let's get rid of this. Let's get uh, here. Let's repair this first. Chuck the stone. Chuck that. Mm, I think I'm going to ditch the rotten meat, too. Okay, let's close this door. Let's see what's in here first. Got two red dots. Someone in the closet and Ronnie McDonnie. We'll sell that. We'll pick that up and scrap it for leather. Um, I think I'm just going to scrap that too. Oh, one of you guys told me in the comments that I had a uh, improved fittings mod that I could put on the helmet. So when we get back to the base, I'll try and remember to do that. So thank you for pointing that out. One skill point. Let's see what's in here. More lead. More stuff we don't need. Actually, the... The fat, I, I like to keep the fat because it's kind of hard to come by. Not super hard, but kind of hard. Okay, let's see what's in here. You know, according to where the light's pointing... I think that's where we're supposed to go. So what's in this room? Well, maybe not. Maybe we got to go up that way. Two red dots. Someone in that closet, someone around that corner. He's got a leg up or down. Hey, 
Hey, look at that, safe. Very nice. Uh, do I have lockpicks? I'm gonna chuck those. I have two lockpicks on me. Let's see what happens. We'll be able to make lockpicks once we get a, a workbench and more mechanical parts. Nice bows. So we can now make a wooden bow, quality one. We're moving up in the world. Uh, I just noticed that I have an abrasion, so let's take one of those. We could use a little bit of health anyway. And I think we're good to keep on keeping on here. Okay, before we go there, let's go in here. Nope, don't want that. Ammo pile, nice. I think that's pretty much it for in here. <laughs> Luggage. Oh, I think we'll scrap that. We're not going to have enough room for all the fat loot, so we'll probably have to Go back down and drop a couple things off. Okay, I see two more red dots. I can see a zombo in in between that crack there, but I can't tell who it is. Eh, scrap a doodle. Let's grab the plastic from here. Might as well clean up all this crap too. Take this, don't care about the bone. guess furnace thingy that we can't reach. So we got a big weapons bag there. Don't know who this is, so we're going to get the SMG out. Oh, it's just another Ronnie McDonnie. And the quest is finished. Okay. Let's check this. Another bow book and a shotgun book. Take it. Open the workbench. Man, I was hoping we'd get uh, a mechanical uh, mechanical part there. Oh boy. Um, okay, I'm going to have to go drop some stuff off. Uh, in the bike, and then we'll, we'll come back up and get the fat loots. Where is the bike? It is that way. Yeah, it's going to take too long. Well, there's a bunny right there. I'm going to have to stick a few things in here, too, because I don't want to go back upstairs twice. 
And then I'll grab all of this stuff later. Scrap this. Check the weapons bag. Knife guy. Okay. Ammo pile. Chamois crate. Okay, we're gonna eat this because we're hungry and thirsty could use a tiny bit more health but mostly because we're hungry and thirsty oh wow look at this that's some nice stuff soup stock i think is used in a recipe yes it is so we're gonna hang on to that all right we'll come back to the fat loots last i like to save the best for last okay oh look at that we could have used that last night <laughs> oh well and finally the fat loots Another silencer. All right, look at that. Shots to the leg with arrows or bolts slow your opponent. We'll take that. Um, this will put on our pistol because we already have one on the SMG. And we'll be able to use this for silent kills. And that's a, that's pretty good. Okay, I'll see you guys back at the trader. What do you want? I'd shake your hand. But I'll bet you got dysentery the way you smell. Now he gives us a freaking claw hammer. Double barrel shotgun. Oh, man. I think that's what we're going to take. But what does this give? 10% more damage with 9mm weapons. Oh, my gosh, you guys. That would apply to both of these weapons. But a double barrel shotgun would be so much better than this pipe shotgun. I think, again, in the long run, this is going to serve us the best. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to take. Okay, he's got a bunch more jobs here. Another I've fetch and work. clear at the yes. Schweitzer residence. Let's take let's that. Get one thing okay, now let's go sell some me. stuff to him. You're working for me. I'm going to sell you that. This we need a pipe to repair before we sell it. That we're going to read. Um, we'll sell the rocket launchers to him. He probably doesn't want that paper. Sell the lead, the iron. I'm going to keep the plastic. That and that, because we already have a wiring tool back at the base. Okay. Um, Have we looked at his inventory? That's too bad he doesn't have a wrench. Uh, does he have a mechanical part, though? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. All right, guys. I'm going to uh, stop off at the base real quick to drop off all this extra crap. And then I'll see you at the next job site. We're just going to keep doing jobs until we eventually come across a mechanical part. We need one single mechanical part. It'll happen. Hopefully in this episode. Oh, wow. I had no idea the horde blew that vehicle up. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I don't remember that happening, but uh, it did. <laughs> there was a car there. While we're here, we're also going to make that extra pocket mod, and we're going to uh, do our extra point as well. So let's throw all of this stuff in here. Uh, we want to put these back on for the moment. Um, let's read that. Let's go make that pocket mod that we can put on the poncho real quick. And actually, let's check our water, too. Got one clean water there. That's good. Okay, so we need one of these. And we need a duct tape and some cloth and some leather, I think. What are we missing? We need two leather. Okay. There we 
There we go. That frees up that slot, so now we just have one one more row to go there. Let's, um... I'm gonna have to gather up some more chrysanthemum. But we're doing good on food, and that should get our hydration just about topped all the way off. Uh, okay, we got a point. Whoops, let's look at that real quick. We're gonna just keep pumping agility for now. And I think we'll do uh, Sheriff next. So 30% more damage on, on handguns, 50% faster fire rate, and 20% faster uh, reload. Five successive hits in a short time cause critical damage. Nice. And I believe that all applies to the SMG too, so. Cool. All right, I'll see you guys over at the next quest location. All right, here we are at the Schweitzer residence. Snag this uh, mailbox machine gunner. Increasing chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. Fantastic. And uh, club crafting, which we don't care so much about. I'll put Marlene out of her misery. Check this vehicle and then we'll start the quest. There's an upgrade for us. Take that off of there, put it on here. Scrap this, use the stone to repair this. Beautiful. This is where we'll go in at when the time comes don't see anything else all right let's do this there's Bo all right check this car Paper. Okay, clear and retrieve. That is our mission. There's a dog. I think we'll leave all that stuff there. There's some... Some resources there, but I'm not too worried about it. I am going to grab this because it's just an easy way to get 25 paper. That is worth selling. And then there's a Zeke right around the corner there. Can't really tell who it is, so let's just... Okay, there's a Steve. Let's see if we can take Steve out first. Dude, what the hell are you doing? You're a dumbass. Edgar. Okay, they're both dead. That's the way we want them. Uh, I guess we'll take the die. Let's put that on our pistol. Okay. There's a satchel. Okay, that's done. Sure, we'll take that stuff. Behind there. Water? Yes. Nice. Now, 
from there. Okay. There's a jiggly. Well, it hit the doggone bike. Got some books. Knife guy. Um, we'll scrap these and we're not gonna take that for now. At some point I'll start collecting that stuff, but not at the moment. We need to conserve space. That door is locked. They don't want us going in there. We might have actually came through there on the other side anyways now that I think about it. Okay, up we go. Shit. Three zombos. Okay. Dispatched. Y'all are dead. In case you didn't notice that. Scrap that. Okay, let's go in here. Grab this food. Okay, keep both of those. The recipes. Well, it's given us lots of spoiled meat. So I guess we'll keep it. Because we will, at some point, um, I guess we'll probably do a garden. I don't know. But we also need that for cooking, too, for, like, um, I think we need it for making sham, if I recall correctly. And we need it for hobo stew. Seeks in those closets. Nope. Got a red dot here. Hmm. Okay. I don't see anything in this room. Be in here probably. Okay, she did. Two dressers. All right, agility goggles. Nice. I think that's our first pair of agility goggles in this playthrough. Sometimes I get confused as to which one playthrough we're on and what we've gotten and what we haven't gotten. Okay, so that's it for here. Okay, we're going upstairs. Maybe Zom's in that closet there. Also encumbered by three points. Let's get rid of this and this. I think we can, I already have an accumulation of, of these um, and we can also make them in the Ford. So I don't think we need to hang on to them. Let's get rid of the bones. Um, let's actually, well, we got the 10% XP glasses on now. What does straight up agility give us? Seven, 
So Nimble would give us 250% headshot damage and a 30% chance to dismember with bows, handguns, and knives. Uh, sure, why not? Look at that. Handy land. Assault rifles. And the uh, axe mod. Woodcutter mod thingy. I timed that bad, he timed that good. Okay. We have another point here. Let's go back to agility. Um, now, because we have an effective six, we could... What do we need? We need seven for Whirlwind. We could do Light Armor. We could do Parkour. Hidden Strike or From the Shadows. Let's do Hidden Strike next. We will do these other ones as well when we get to them. Check these trashes. Um, that safe is br uh, already opened. All right, let's go into this room. Got some shoes. Sell those. Um, is that? I think that's better than what we have currently, right? Because I think we have an orange one. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a nice upgrade. All right, so take the triple off of here. Put it onto here. Scrap the... Uh, uh, well, maybe we'll sell that. So let's just repair this with normal cloth. And it should put it on us. Okay, not a bad upgrade. I mean, we get... Um, Wait, what? No, stop it. We get um, three mod slots with it, so that's good. Don't have anything else on me at the moment to put on there, though. Cloth armor is really actually pretty good armor all the way up into the mid game. Doesn't give you the best protection, but you have no movement penalty and no noise penalty with it. So really not that bad for a stealth build. Edgar. Quest is done. Handyman and uh, armor. Yep. You now do tier one cloth and scrap quality four. Tier one cloth? The hell? We've been able to do tier one cloth for a long time now. I don't understand. What that, what's that mean? Hmm. Oh, that's where the Zeke's just broke through the floor. Add up to scrap it. Medical supplies. And the fat loots. Find more lead and loot. A chain mod, which we can use to put on a club and sell. Um, don't care about that. We need to get rid of one more thing. Let's just scrap this in the cloth, and then we should be able to take all of that. What is this? It's just iron. It's not lootable. Q. 
curious. Is there something up here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, look at that. Wow. We have to zoom in to see that there's a weapons bag there. Man, I was just about ready to jump back down and go on along my merry way, too. How about that? What is my distance set to? My goodness, that we should have been able to see that. Terrain quality, grass distance, object quality. Okay, yeah, overall detail of entities and trees based upon how far they are. Also, the distance at which they will no longer be shown. Um, does that account for weapons bags, though? Entities, I think, are like zombies and animals, aren't they? Hmm. Well, here, actually, let's try something. Okay, so we can't see that from here. If we go into here... And we turn this up to high. We can see it. Okay. Well, let's just keep that on high and we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't have a major uh, performance impact. Wooden bow quality two. And we have a wooden bow here. I think, though, that we're going to scrap that for the bow parts. And we also have a burning shaft mod, which I think we will put on our Kniffy. If it'll let us. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that, we can't put that on a knife. That's right. Um, We could put it on here and kind of use it. Whoops. Use it more as a light, like as a torch. Okay. And then we're going to scrap this for the parts. And I threw 37 paper away. I don't want to. I don't want to throw 37 paper away. So probably out of all this stuff here, that's chicken ration. We can eat that because it's not used in a recipe. Okay. Well, we still didn't find a doggone mechanical part, man. Uh, I don't think I can get mechanical parts by taking stuff apart with the axe. So... What we might end up having to do then is go, just go randomly loot like a passing gas or something. There's a, you know, there's a chance you can also find something like that in automobiles. All right, well, let's go back and do the turn in. Hey, maybe he'll give us a wrench as a reward. That'd be nice. You think you're pretty smart now, don't you? Lucky Looter Volume 7. Find more medical supplies in loot. Forge steel. 60 shotgun shells. Or three antibiotics. We got a decent amount of honey. You know, it's kind of one of those things again where this is really going to benefit us the most in the long run. So I think we'll take the Lucky Looter magazine. All right, let's sell you this. We're up to 10,000 coin. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. I'm going to sell him the crossbow bolts. Um, sell that brass, the iron, that. I don't think we have a ton of extra leather, so we're going to hang on to our leather for now. We're going to sell him the paintbrush. Yeah, I think we'll save the rest of this for later. We did look to see if you had a wrench, right? No, you don't. Shit, man. I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking tip. I'm going to make you an offer. Cartel house. Yeah, good luck. You better not Okay, well, angry, it makes. I think it makes the most sense for us to just keep doing jobs for him, and we'll either come across mechanical parts in the process while we get XP and rewards, uh, or we'll actually get a wrench as one of the rewards. And until we find a wrench um, or a mechanical part to make a wrench, we're kind of we're kind of hosed a little bit because we can't make the workbench, and uh, so that's still kind of priority number one. All right, guys. Well, we are out of time for this episode.
So I think what we'll do is we'll just wrap up this episode here. We still have a little bit of time left in this day, so we'll probably start the next episode uh, and just keep, you know, do another job for him here on day eight. Uh, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.